I started Active Minds uh, first as a student group, actually, uh, when I was an undergrad at the University of Pennsylvania, shortly after losing my brother Brian to suicide. Um, Brian had been a really successful student, both in high school and in college, got into his top choice college, um, was extraordinary, you know, president of an acapella group, sports editor of the newspaper, dean's list student at his college. Um, but he started struggling with his mental health um, and didn't tell anybody what was going on. Since the beginning, NSCS has wanted to be at the forefront of what's happening with the college student development experience. And now that you look at where we are, mental health is a really important priority for not only higher ed, but also for us as an organization to make sure we present this and provide it as an opportunity for our members. And when he died, I was a freshman um, at the University of Pennsylvania, and I immediately kind of threw myself into research and learned that what had happened to Brian was not all that atypical, that so many people start struggling with their mental health in the high school and college, and the age of onset of almost every mental health issue is exactly the high school and the college age, and yet we don't talk about it at all. One of the things that I've come to realize about our members is that they're high achievers, and high achievers put a tremendous amount of pressure on themselves to excel, uh, to do well, uh, to always go above and beyond, sometimes at the expense of maybe their own good. And so when we started thinking about a national philanthropy, it seemed logical that Active Minds would be a perfect organization to work with so that we could help connect our high achievers with their services and opportunities for mental health. And NSCS is a leader in um, campus scholarship and recognizing student um, success and all, and all levels of campus success. And Active Minds was also really um, thrilled to, to see NSCS step up and um, want to support its students and recognize that for full success for student, student life includes their mental health and mental well-being. The best way for NSCS members to really embrace this partnership and to make a difference in their community is just to raise their hand to get involved. And I think the best way to do that is to show up to a meeting and to seek out ways that you can actually bring the conversation about mental health and active minds into your campus community and even possibly your local community where the opportunities may exist. Active Minds offers a number of resources for folks who are interested in learning more about mental health or doing more in mental health. Um, on our website, www.activeminds.org, you can find all sorts of information about starting or joining a chapter and also how to bring some of our programming to your school. I really feel good about the fact that we as an honor society are committed to this. And while there's a lot of really um, great honor societies that exist on college campuses, I think this is one more unique benefit that we offer and one more indication of how we're really wanting to be more connected to the student experience. If you're struggling or um, you know somebody in your life who is struggling, I would just encourage you to reach out. We're here for you and we don't want you to struggle alone.